Hello everyone. We'll continue that topic. Now we will write a logic to display the data, to display the output fields, to display the output. Now these for these fields input is unable. So we will go for the same way. Firstly, we will make it, firstly, we'll make them as output only. I will double click on screen 200, layout, double click. We will simply remove the out, we'll simply remove the input field checkbox, input field, input field, input because these are our output fields only. We'll save, close, and activate the program. Now we will see how to write a code. Coding part already covered in the previous program also of module pool, but we will see how to write a code. I will run the program. Whenever I will click on the, whenever I will give a input and click on the submit button, I know process after input of 100 screen will call and I will write a logic for the same. I will firstly create a internal table. I will double click on the program types begin of structure suppose lty data i will open that table and we will make a copy paste to create a structure order number type data element of order number I will go for order date, type, data element for order date, payment mode, type, data element for payment mode, total amount, type, data element for total amount, Currency type data element for currency. I will end this particular structure. I will create internal table and work areas. Now I will declare work area. I will activate this part of the program. I will go to Hunter screen. We all know whenever I will click on submit button, Hunter screen process after input will call. So I will uncomment the module, which is the part of process after input event. I will double click. It is asking, do you want to create? Yes, I want to create. I'll go for new include and I will write a logic now. Select O number, O date, Payment mode, total amount, currency, from order header table into table, internal table, where O number is equal to, what is the input? I will check the name in the layout itself. What is the name you gave? 
table name hyphen column name because this is your input where O number is equal to this. Now we all know only single record will come into this internal table. So I can go for read table because read table is preferable whenever you have single matching record internal table into work area index one. If size sub RC equals to zero, I will pass the data then from the work area to the screen output fields. I will pass the values from the, if I will run and show you what we want. I will simply, simply pass the data from the work area to these screen fields. I'll check the name of these screen fields. If I will double click, they are same. Table name, hyphen, column name, table name, hyphen, column name, table name, hyphen, column name, table name, hyphen, column name. So I will write the logic in that. I simply write table name hyphen column name is order date first. So from the work area, we are passing the value to the screen fields. This is our screen field. This is the name on the name of the output field on the screen. Similar process I will do for other things payment mode total amount and lastly i will do it for currency same to same logic we wrote in the previous program also payment mode total amount currency I'll check the syntax. Syntax error will come. So how I will resolve this error? I'll simply, simply import my header table. Tables. I'll check the syntax. There is no syntax error. I'll go to display mode and I will activate my whole group. Now we will see the output in the debugging mode. I'll put a breakpoint. In the PAI of screen 100, I will run. I will give a input. Whenever I will click on submit button, I know PAI of 100 called based upon the input, it fetched data and my data came into the internal table. From the internal table, you passed to the work area and your values moved to the work area. From the work area, you moved it to the screen fields one by one. This is our first, second, third, fourth screen fields. And these are our output screen fields. If I will go for execute, you can see this is the output. And this is not the part. This is this thing we have not designed on normal screen. It is a separate sub screen itself which is appearing as a part of your normal screen. So that's it all about the subscreen topic, how to call a subscreen into normal screen. So this is all about the topic of subscreen. Thank you.